Welcome everyone, today we dive into the quirks of the English language, an ocean of oddities and peculiarities. Our aim? To explore why English, with its borrowed words and unpredictable grammar, is often considered a strange language, a language where English muffins aren't English and French fries aren't French. Yes, the English language can be a funny thing, full of surprises and inconsistencies, but that's what makes it so fascinating, right? So, buckle up as we embark on this linguistic journey. Now, it's time to delve into some examples that illustrate the quirkiness of English. Let's start with homographs, words that are spelled the same but have different meanings. Consider lead, which could mean to guide someone or it could be a type of metal. It's all about context, my friends. Next, we have homophones, words that sound the same but have different meanings and often different spellings. Two, two, and two may sound identical, but they each have a unique role to play in a sentence. Quite the trio of tricksters, aren't they? Now let's not forget about silent letters. They're like the ninjas of the alphabet, hiding in words, ready to confuse unsuspecting language learners. Take night, for instance. The K is as quiet as a mouse, but it's still there, lurking in the shadows. Lastly, let's talk about unpredictable pronunciations. Why does cough not rhyme with though, when they look so similar? And how come read and lead rhyme but read and lead do not? Yes, you heard that right, it's a linguistic tongue twister. English is a tricky customer, full of oddities that can bewilder even the most seasoned language learner. But that's part of its charm, isn't it? It's like a puzzle waiting to be solved, a riddle begging to be deciphered. As you can see, English isn't as straightforward as it seems. Well, we've certainly had our fill of English oddities for the day. We've reveled in the peculiarities of this language, where we park on driveways and drive on parkways, and where a slim chance and a fat chance mean the same thing. These quirks, as we've seen, make English an endlessly fascinating language to learn and explore. We've also touched upon how English, despite its oddities, is an incredibly dynamic language. It borrows, adapts, and evolves, and that's part of what makes it so wonderfully strange. Let's not forget, it's a language where your house can burn up and burn down at the same time, and where you fill in a form by filling it out. In summary, English may seem like a labyrinth of contradictions, but that's part of its charm. It keeps us on our toes and makes every conversation an adventure. That's it for today's exploration of the English language. Stay curious, keep learning, and remember, it's not just you, English is indeed a bit strange.